Hello and welcome to the final episode of the Midlands map. I know, I know, it had to come to an end at some point. And uh, let's face it, it made it far further than I ever thought it would. Uh, if you remember back to the days of the live stream, when I, some of you might remember, when I showed this map off in its plain state with just the 600 towns on it, where everyone thought I was absolutely crazy, and even the best guesstimates of how long the series would last were uh, 50, about 50, was, was, was considered good. So the fact that we've got 117 and a, and a half episodes from the Midlands map before the poor thing started buckling under its own weight, it's... Uh, I would say I'd call that a success. Now, in the background, you'll see a bit of a time lapse. I I spent some time putting together, uh, I say some time, probably about three or four hours total, uh, finishing off the West Coast Main Line. So it's, it's a, th a complete thing. We have the entirety of the West Coast Main Line from, from Bletchley, down in the southeast, all the way up to the northwest, of, uh, oh, I can't remember the name, <laughs> Old Sega. There we go. And uh, that includes both branches the one that goes through Birmingham and also the other one that goes up past uh, Nuneaton. And there we go, guys. There we go. This is it going in. I like Kids Grove Station. It, it didn't quite end up how I wanted it, but it's close enough. And uh, I do get a little carried away, as you'll see shortly. Uh, Longport, I think it's Longport. Yeah, I get a little carried away with the detailing there. We're just heading up to Old Sagan now. The, the thing is, I added the portals in and everything, but I didn't finish the whole thing. No, we've still got some uh, services to extend. So we'll do that to finish up once all of this is complete. There were a few crashes, as you'll see shortly as well. That's just the nature of the map now. That's where we're at. It, it's becoming a struggle to record, which is one of the main reasons I've decided to call it. I mean, it had to have an end at some point. This map shouldn't have been a thing in the first place. When I, when I started this map, people would, uh, would call me an idiot, or literally. On, on the Steam forums for having more than 20 towns. Not on the forums, on the comments in one of my maps. I believe it was the East Coast main one, line one. I don't know, I deleted his comment. But uh, yeah, I was I was told I was silly. Should we, should we make it a little more polite for uh, attempting to have that many towns? It, back in the day, it was, it was frowned upon to create a map with more than 20 towns. 20 towns was the absolute limit. So when I come up with this fantastic idea to have 600 towns on a map, not just any map, the largest map possible for transport fever, it wasn't supposed to get to this stage. Absolutely not. I'm actually quite proud of, of the map itself. It's huge. And once we've seen, oh, once we've seen all of this uh, lovely, lovely time lapse of me building, I, I, I about got all the track layout right. But yeah, once we've seen this, I went and painstakingly plotted the length of the West Coast Main Line that's on our map. I, uh, in Google, you can right click and, and choose measurement. I went around and plotted it. It's not perfect. I cut a few corners. It was it's a long old. A long old route but you'll get to see that and I was surprised at, at just how much track we've covered and that's just the West Coast Main Line there's also a fair chunk of the mid uh, Midland Main Line on here I don't know where my voice is going there on the Midland I've already said the Midland Main Line the Chilton Main Line as well I think uh, there's a few others on there uh, down to the south west as well through Kidderminster way but yeah oh and there's the cross city line all of it its entirety I think that's complete so there's been a lot oh and the metro goodness I should have wrote these down so impressive it's an impressive 
and a long journey. What a journey I've enjoyed, and I have to thank you guys for that. I might have given up long ago if it wasn't uh, for the fantastic audience this has received. I wasn't expecting that at the time. There was, it was just a small group of us, wasn't there, that was <laughs> from the uh, East Coast mainline days when I just started out, and it was just a, originally a show and tell uh, between me and a few people that escalated, shall we say, quickly. I'm forever grateful for that. I know I'm choking up, guys. It's always sad to see a, a big map or project you're working on come to a conclusion, especially when you don't feel it's complete. But I do feel it's complete in as far as you could take the game engine. It's, it's, it's got to the point where it's, it's tough. <laughs> it's tough to get anything going. Which makes the whole production process a nightmare now, is another reason. But <laughs> I don't know what I did there. Some sort of lump. That was great. But it, it's, it's not been a bad thing by any stretch of the imagination. It's been absolutely wonderful. All the highs and lows, I have absolutely enjoyed this. So much so, you know I'll be trying something similar in uh, Transport Fever 2. That's where we're heading. And I'm slowly working towards understanding the same amount in Transport Fever 2 as I do and was forever learning in Transport Fever 1, this version. I mean, there are little nuances to the game, shall we say, politely, <laughs> that you have to kind of get used to and work around and with. And we don't quite know what those are, Transport Fever 2. The, the main thing I found myself doing towards the end of this series was wishing for certain things in Transport Fever 2. But at the same time, there are things still in this, this game that I uh, miss. In the new one, yes, I'm watching myself <laughs> build this. That's how I'm recording it afterwards, but watching it back so that I, it makes sense. Hopefully I can line up the... Uh, the voice with the, the visuals but yeah that's Longport that we're just out there and still building a bit of it's not 100% complete as I said I lost I lost a bit of a uh, bit of heart or became slightly disheartened shortly we're getting up to that phase now where uh, it just died on me and I forgot to save it every five seconds which is pretty much how I've been putting stuff together including that uh, I, I, I'm glad a few of you liked it the trains at or the sights and sounds no the, the sights and sounds of the Midlands map the second one was a little bit more difficult than the first uh, it, it's easier as in I don't need to run the game long to get the footage I need to then stitch together but so what what is up with the map I don't know I, I could hazard a guess uh, it's just there's so many moving parts on it now and the, the more we expand networks and join cities and and delete roads and then rebuild roads the more chance that the AI could uh, try and place a road somewhere that doesn't work it transport fever one will, will do that if it tries to place a road somewhere and it hasn't accounted for it it'll go boom and that's the sort of phase we're at now. And you multiply that by every road on this map, which is a ridiculous amount. It's almost impossible to try and figure out which is the cause. And then the the next time it crashes, it's probably a different road. So yeah, that's. I think it's better to call it quits while it's semi-working, rather than allow myself to get salty and disheartened and kind of fizzle out I'd rather go out with a, a clean cut episode like this and just admire the map for what we've got done now I'm saying all that <laughs> yeah, yeah you know I'm going to try and fiddle with it a bit more and detail it and then hopefully try and get some sort of fly over when it's detailed or, or some more cab rides or maybe we'll just come and visit it ran randomly I don't know, it's there as a, a thing I could possibly mess with if, if I've got time. The problem I have with it is that it takes several minutes to load now each time. So every time it crashes and then I've got to load it back in. And if I haven't saved it in time, 
or remember to save it. Then I, I, I lose all the work and not always want to come back to it. I, yeah, there we go. Crashed and rebuilt. <laughs> it might not look exactly the same. I forgot to put those little diesel refill stations in and instead added a couple of, uh, like, uh, uh, for the catenary, the little boxes, the electric boxes. Yes, and then, so when I came back, I decided why not build the couple of lakes that are there. I don't know why. You At the end of it, and I kind of knew this was going to happen, you can't actually see them from the track. But that, there's a lot of places like that on the map. Uh, I don't know what else to say other than it's been fun. I've enjoyed it. I don't want to end it. and I mean, you never really want to end something, do you? It, but it's, it's drawing the line is a lesson that I've got to learn. And there's no point dragging it out if it's not performing. As it should, especially with the crashing, it's just uh, it's just going to make me salty. What am I doing? I can't remember what I'm doing here. Oh yes, yeah, the, the outline for where I want the trees to go. I believe I put the other little lake in there as well. It doesn't look bad, does it? it doesn't look bad at all. So what are we going to be doing once this uh, once this is finished, which it nearly is? Uh, we do go back and detail a few other things on the Norton Junction as well. We'll come into the game and hopefully it lasts long enough. I might need to keep it paused. But hopefully it'll last long enough to add or extend the services uh, that we have on the map. So that they make full use. Uh, we're going to add a new one as well. A new one. Get your words out. Uh, where we'll be bringing in the northern service I believe it heads to Manchester and turns around at Stoke yes in the little bay platform we have at Stoke I'll have to quickly look up the uh, the route it takes we'll be adding that in once this is all done a few little trees there is a talking of transport fever 2 and recreations it's amazing how quickly uh, a lot of the mods from this game are being transferred over, so that's all credit to the, the fantastic modding community we have. And and so it's getting closer and closer each day to being able to start big recreations. I'm going to start smaller though. We're going to do like uh, small areas around the world that are actual recreations that we can get done before the map explodes, hopefully. I think that's a good way to start and then uh, slowly make our way up to something uh, ridiculous by the end, <laughs> such as this. And then, yeah, and then that will be the uh, probably the, the swan song to Transport Fever 2 and if there is a Transport Fever 3. Anyway, that's a long way in the future. I think Transport Fever had been out, what, two years when I started the Midlands map? Probably a little less. And... The series itself lasted for a year and a half. Oh no, so it would have been... No, yes. How long has it been going? A year and a bit. So yeah, there we go, guys. Uh, we're getting towards the end of this. And then we'll get, get everything loaded back up, hopefully. And we'll extend the services. We'll take a look at what I've done. Uh, but not at, hot, at warp speed. The one I do want to get in is the northern one, because we've got the actual trains for that. And then, what shall I do for the end? I think at the end... Oh yes, I have to say thank you to all the guest station uh, folks. I'll I'll do like a, uh, a end credits thing for you guys. And perhaps a... I'll show like 30 seconds of each guest station. Through the, throughout the series. That's been a lot of fun as well. I have to thank you for taking part in that. Oh dear. What a series it's been. Yeah, they've got the final detail, details of Norton Junction going in. I hope you don't mind me adding music to this one. It'll be a very quiet time otherwise. I thought about adding the usual uh, background music. Uh, background sound effects that I add. But since this is the finale as it were. I think it's uh, fitting we have something a little different. And is that it? I think that's the final touches and then we'll uh, we'll take a look. I'll just let this play out. I think I've timed this about right. 
Have I? Or do I do that middle bit? No, I do the middle bit as well. Look at me. I could just hover over the thing. Oh, there's still 30 seconds. 60, a minute. 10. I don't know, there's about less than a minute to go now. And then we will get to have a look and, and extend our lines. And then I'll go away and put together uh, all the guest stations. I, I, ne I never thought of doing that before. I did, I have listed them. I've got a full list of who won what and in what episode. So that'll be a bit of fun to see those to see us out. And then throughout the year, I will definitely come back with something. I don't know what, it won't be in the form of a series any longer, but uh, I, I will be tempted to do bits and bobs here and there. That's it, I think we're done, guys. You just couldn't help smoothing it, could you? No. All right, I'll let this play out now. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna leave it alone in a second. All right, guys, so we're back in the game. I did this too. <laughs> This might be one of the causes for the game currently crashing. Possibly, I might need to fix it. Uh, I won't mention Transport Fever 2 and how nice that might look. But anyway, yes, uh, so that's that's Stoke looking a bit, uh, a little bit more finished and there's uh, what you saw in the time lapse up there. But before we get on with that, I promised you a quick look at the map I did. I, I drew the, uh, there it is. I drew the uh, the line, that line, all the way from Bletchley, following the railway, the West Coast Main Line that goes, I think that's the one via Northampton, I can't remember, and up to, up to Allsager, which is up there. So there we go, 123 miles nearly. Uh, I'm going to say if I didn't cut the corners, it would possibly pass 125 miles total. That's just one section of track. After I saw that and I did all the drawing, now that's not just drawing a straight bit of track, either, like connecting cities up like I normally would in a game. I'd just be like, yeah, that's that's roughly where the West Coast Main Line goes. I'll throw that in. No, that's, that's almost, I would say, every switch, junction, station, even the small ones on the West Coast Main Line, including the horrendous mess that is uh, Birmingham, New Street area. It's just that there's so many junctions over there. Yeah, I I was very impressed with myself. I patted myself on the back after I did that. And then I looked at myself in the mirror and said, exactly which point did you think this would not blow up in your face? Well, now. <laughs> now is when it happened. At least we got the West Coast Main Line in. I have it paused as promised. Get rid of that off the screen. I have it paused. As promised, because I don't want it to uh, crash before we get the trains extended. We do have a few services to extend. I have my notes up. It is the final extension of services for the series, not for the map. Because I do want to do this. I was looking. I got carried away looking at the uh, the timetables. And I was like, oh, we almost have that. Because you come down Blythe Bridge and up to, is it Utoxeter? Across to Utoxeter? Where is it? Utoxeter down there so you kind of wiggle your way down to Utoxeter and then through Tutton and Hatbury and then we have the junction over here that we connect through uh, I think it's this one isn't it yeah and that takes us on but we are going to put that train on we're going to put the East Midlands train train trains train that stops here we'll we'll at least uh, run it up to where it's supposed to go because that'll give us a uh, Another train up here. So yes, anyway. Right, right, right. Do we have any trains stopping at Stoke yet? Yes, yeah, just one, isn't it? Oh no, it's both. Yes, this is the Bournemouth to Manchester Piccadilly. It does a few other stops as well. We can extend this one now. I'm just going to double check it stopping at 3 and 4 at Stafford. Because I double checked all of that for us as well. Which is not technically 3 and 4. I'll just reiterate what's going on. At Stafford, it's actually 1, 3, 4 and 5. So these two are 4 and 5. Do, do not be confused with these. They're not real. <laughs> because as this bay platform is 2 or something bizarre like that. Yeah, so there we go. And that's 5, I think, on the outside. 
But if a train on my timesheet thing that I wrote out says four and five, it's three and four. Just remember that. Otherwise, it's one and two, which would be one and three. Yes. <laughs> because for us, it's one, two, three, four, five. Anyhow, right. Enough of that. We've got to extend this. It goes to Stoke as it should, but then it heads off to the Manchester portal. I don't know if we've got enough room for this, but it would be nice to send it up there and back. We might need to uh, stop it there. We do stop at... Uh, we. I don't think we stop anywhere else. I think it's straight up to the portal. Yeah, after Stoke, we'd be uh, stopping at the portal. But I'd like us to go through and back, even though it's not making us any money. We, we've got no cost on. So we're allowed to do things like this. Uh... That should not be called that, really. Stoke-on-Trent, this would be P1. And that would be Stoke-on-Trent, P2. <laughs> uh, this is one way to do it, right? And that would be Stoke, lower Stoke-on-Trent. Well, I'll take it. P3. There we go. That's better. So, we definitely don't want to be stopping there. We want to be removing that after Stafford. We want to stop here. That should work. Now, will it do this? Have I left myself enough room? I'm a little unsure. But we'll go there anyway. Adds a bit of scenery, doesn't it? Absolutely. And then we stop back here. And since we are getting trains here, I'll try and remember how to play the game. All the buttons are in completely different order. That's so frustrating. Oh dear. For both, not just for, for this one. I don't know why they changed it so drastically. I will keep this one way as as that's okay, I think. A two way. Because it can technically come back out. What I do want to make sure we don't do is have any wiggles unnecessarily up here. I don't think we do. No, perfect. Right, that is the first one extended to use the pur purple portal. <laughs> the purple portal. That works. Now the next one we want is get rid of that is this one the london houston to crew which is gonna be is this the one that's heading off no 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 no. this is the, the full-on one isn't it right so after stafford which way around yes stoke on this one already stops at the right platform all right yes this one continues on i lost it in my notes you won't see that pause but i had a head scratchy moment i was like i literally just did this but anyway, we, we do stop at a, a bunch of others, including Stone. We don't stop here, though, oddly, as far as I can tell. After Stafford, it's Stone, Stoke, Kidsgrove and Allsager. Not not Longport, which is, which is fine. We don't all have to stop here. But we will be stopping here and heading off through that crew portal. If we go there, yeah, you're not going to get that right for the time being. Then there. Then the crew portal. And then back again. We need to change the... Oh, I have not signalled this up. Lazy grand. Lazy. Forgetful more like. Uh, would it be one? I can't remember which way I placed this round. Ignore the, uh, the actual platform numbers. That's not what they are in real life. More than likely. They might be. And, and then we're stopping here, aren't we? Yes. Right, let's check we've got no wiggles on this one. This one stops at stone, goes through here. I don't know. No, you're not supposed to be over there. I'm fairly sure we're supposed to be on uh, three and uh, four and five. Well, that would be six, wouldn't it, then? Well, I think it's Royal Mail on only over there. I could be wrong. If that's one, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it would be six. Anyway. <laughs> Now's a good time to be checking on that. Nothing's changed, has it, in 117 odd episodes and a half episodes. No, nope. still messing about midway through. Uh, wait, it does say P1 on Stafford. I stand corrected. It is P1, P3. I'm not sure it should be doing that wiggle then. Should we maybe be crossing here? Maybe. We'll need a uh, waypoint. Though, wouldn't we? I don't think we're supposed to be doing that. That seems far too slow. And Oh, no. It doesn't, though, does it? P1, 
Because doing this, you get in the way of the fast trains. Doing that, you get out the way of the fast trains. Faster. <laughs> yes. This might be right. And what about up here? This is not right because I, this we lost this. And so that would be after Stafford. Uh, we need to stop here, right? There we go. No longer wiggles. Let's just check we're not doing it up here. Uh, no, I think you're behaving after that point. Guys, we're done with this one. Right. Remove that. We have a couple of trains that stop here that shouldn't. We've got the Liverpool Lime Street train. And the London Euston Manchester Express. Technically, they don't stop at many places on our map. Uh, they're not supposed to stop here. I believe they're supposed to go straight through. And if this is the Manchester Express, what we might do is stop it, even though we shouldn't, at Stoke. But we'll go this way round, not that way round. Where are we? Come through here and stop at Stoke as the last stop and then turn around at the Manchester portal. So we're going to get rid of that after, was it that one? <laughs> yeah, did this the wrong way around. We're going to go to here. Oh, look at you go. I mean, I, I fluked that a little bit. This looks all right, doesn't it? Um, yes, because you, you're going through. So we'll get a nice bit of express action there. And then we could go to the Manchester portal. These might be too long. I'm not even sure. And then we'll stop here on the way back. So this is technically Bletchley. Bletchley to Stoke. That's a journey, isn't it? That's a journey and a half. There we go. There's another one. We might need another train on there. But we do have trains stopping at Rugeley, where I keep losing it. That Rugeley Trent Valley that shouldn't be stopping and turning around here. Birmingham New Street. That's this one, I would imagine. London Crew. Is that the one we just did? That goes to Stone. Yeah, that does all the all the gubbins. I feel like we're missing a few that stop prematurely at the moment. We've got the Liverpool Lime Street one. Yes, this one. This one's a new service. Obviously, they're not... Uh, Virgin anymore, they're Avanti West Coast, aren't they? Or something like that. Am I right with the pronunciation? Uh, I can never remember where this one... I think it actually goes up through Stafford. Whether it goes out that way, then... Not sure. I don't have the portal there, so no. We also have... This is one thing I've been... Ooh, ooh the lag. Hold everything. Deep breath. We've got, uh, because the one, the cross country we just put in, was it the one that comes down here? Oh, I don't know now. We, we, we can look, can't we? We can look. Stop being, uh, it's this one, Manchester. This is the one that goes all the way to Leamington Spa. Yes, and now goes to Stoke on Trent, P1 and P2, the Manchester portal, because it's the Manchester picky. Picky one? <laughs> yes, that's what it is. Uh, I don't know what we're doing with the Caledonian sleeper. Uh, apparently it's going that way. Is that the way it's supposed to go? I thought it would have headed through there. I might stop it here. On one and two. And again at Stoke. It's tempting to send it off that way. Currently it just goes to Stafford, doesn't it? Could we maybe take it up to Stoke? There's no through tracks at Stoke, so if we take it up here, we've got to do something with it at this point. I don't know, would it go through the Manchester port? It might go to Crew. It might immediately go to Crew down here where we don't have a portal. So we just end the Caledonian sleeper there. I mean, why not? Why not? In which case, we might want to change that to P1 and get it out of the way as fast as possible. And after Stafford, you want to not do the wiggles. There we go. I think that would be better for it. I'm happy for the Caledonian to do that for now. I'm going to have to look up the route for that a little bit closely. Uh, we've got the Liverpool Lime Street one. Yeah, this is the one that heads off that way. Where we don't have a portal anyway. So technically, 
it can happily just do that and turn around at Stafford as this is the last place on the map. And then it'll be the portal. Those sorts of services, I do not mind leaving as is. Uh, the other one was, it's one of the, it's one of the other cross country trains we've got on the map, which is, uh, there's a lot of trains. Uh, we, if we cut it down to trains, they're all these purple colored ones. And it's not the DMUs. It would be one of the, that Stansted Airport. Manchester Piccadilly we did. Cross City Line. I should have called them cross country at the beginning perhaps. Uh, the, we got reds and dark reds, but they're like purples. Maybe I didn't put it in. Well, sugar. We do at least have a train heading that way now. I was hoping to have another train heading that way. Let me double check. Ah, yes, it was the paint and service, which we don't have currently. Ah, I will explain that. Uh, I thought we did. It would. It comes down through Tewkesbury, which we don't have on the map. Is it one of the... No, they're West Midlands trains, I Worcester to Whitlock's End. Yes, it's the, the service we don't have running. There should be a service down here. There's a white one, is it this? Birmingham, no, that's the Hereford, West Midlands Railway. Yeah, the, this bit here is where the other cross-country train runs. Unfortunately, <laughs> we do have it on the map. Yeah, so we can't put it on. Oh, that's sad. Never mind. I mean, it's not a disaster, is it? We got them all in. Uh, we extended the ones we could extend, and there's quite a few trains now heading up this way. I don't know how they're going to behave. Yeah, no, that, that's absolutely fine. Because we've got one more to add, haven't we? Let's put a new line in. We're going to have it... Oh, I don't know what colour they are. Are they purple? Dark purple? That's a bit too much like cross country. Or are they dark blue now? Do you know, I'm going to go with that blue. This is... You're like, Grant, how are you going to fit a full build in here? It's, it's probably the shortest build in the world. It, it can't really start there. Oh, yes, it can. Right, so we're coming from there, the Old Sager, to Kids Grove. And, and then we're just literally heading into... Does anybody stop here? I thought there was a, a train that stopped there. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, Grand. One there, one there. We could make this one stop there, perhaps. I'd be tempted. Is it? Do you know what it is yet? Because I haven't filled it in. Do you know what? We're going to... No, we're not going to stop here. There might be a reason you don't stop there a lot. Because it's sort of on the main line, isn't it? Yeah, we won't stop there just yet. This is Stoke on Trent. Oh, no, you, you've gone the wrong way, you burk. <laughs> I got carried away. This is not the right one. You are probably very, very confused. It's none of that. <laughs> it's Kids Grove to Stoke to Kids Grove. Uh, so after Kids Grove, it's then to there. There we go. This is the one. We're going to have to change. Is that the right platform? Yeah, it must be. But, yeah. Stoke-on-Trent to Manchester. There we go. Manchester, well, we can't fit that in. And that is Northern. Our first actual Northern train on the, on the map. Isn't that fantastic? And, oh, it's not electrified. Never mind. We'll bring that out from an electrified one. We could electrify it, but I don't believe it is. It's a uh, diesel, I think. We do have one right down here. Ooh, how are you going to get up there, though? That, that won't work. What, ooh, could you get over there? Is that electrified? Yes. Will he find his way? Let's see. We're only going to have one. All this for one train. All right, so I totally didn't just have to quit out the game and load download a certain mod. From the workshop. If it's not the game failing, it's me. Good job. I thought I had them all. Look at all these wonderful trains. Oh, and a lot of them, as I said, are already making their way over to Transport Fever 2. And they look even more spectacular over there. But anyhow, what train do we want? The one I just downloaded. Here it is. I'm going to say it's a three car. And, and no more. Uh, Northern Rail. Would it have the pan... pan pantograph up or down i'm gonna say up it is electrified over there we're not going to color it because it's beautifully colored anyway it is of course jung lenin's 
323, which we have running on the Cross City line. Please don't crash. Okay. Did we buy it? Yes, it didn't crash. I'm slightly happy. I'm a little bit nervous about hitting play, not buying it, to be honest. And uh, we want to make sure we can see the line. Set line all. Uh, there we go. Guys, will it find its way? But we're not going to finish there. And we've got another service. The one that I, I thought was heading that way was the northern one, but it's not. It's this one. Uh, we should actually head all the way from Derby, which we have. But we're not connected via Utoxida just yet. So let's uh, make us another line. This one. Ooh, yeah. Where does this one stop? Did I even write it down? Probably not. That that would be that would be good, wouldn't it? Guys, I wrote it down. It, we, we have our first train to stop at Longport. It stops at Longton. It, I don't know whether that should be Longton Exchange at all. But it stops at, stops at Longton. Should we add it? Let's do it. And then we've got an, an East Midlands train, a Northern Rail. It's currently Virgin. I mean, it is 1994. It's probably a little early for Virgin anyway. Uh, anyhow, we're going from there. Oh, we don't want it in that colour. East Midlands, bright blue. We're stopping there. We are stopping at uh, Longport. And we're going that way. And then that way. And through that portal. Through the portal. It was never a TV show. Then there we go. Guys, we've got another uh, another train on. This is, uh, I believe it's Derby. I've got it written down. Why don't you read it? Derby 2. Crew. Which is East Midlands train. So there we go. Beautiful. Should we, uh, we can put that train on from up here. I might put two on for this. It's not very frequent. One might do us, but uh, we'll see. Right. Let's buy us that multiple unit. It is apparently a sprinter, which is good, because that is the only EMT train we have. So that works, doesn't it? This is wonderful. And we're going to keep it two car. Absolutely keep it two car. We've got northern sprinters, though. We could have had those on, too. But anyway, we're getting these on. And set line all. This is Derby Crew EMT. Guys, what a, what a way to finish. Um, what a way to finish by saving first. I'm on to, like, part seven well in fact there you go part set look <laughs> look at all the stuff sas i don't know what even know what that stands for but anyway part seven it doesn't take too long to save i guess i guess i could monologue but no get in there right we're saved i can hit play well we'll jump on board this one that's down oh no we should do the little route and see if the northern catches up shouldn't we we do this one that's coming out of this depot. Uh, where are you? It's our little sprinter, isn't it? Right, hit play. <laughs> oh dear. Yes, it's building as it goes. There we go. Right, we're going to have a little cab ride on this. As you do. Oh yes, moving the mouse doesn't uh, do anything. This is all the new tracks. Once again, thank you everybody for watching this entire series or even bits of it. It's been a marathon. It's been a wonderful marathon that I've thoroughly enjoyed doing, even with the ups and downs. I mean, even with the downs, definitely not the ups. I'd always enjoy those. And and I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss it as a regular series. But I'm also excited for what's to come in Transport Fever 2, as I'm, I'm definitely going to be bringing recreations back. For now, I'm easing my way in. We're off to Switzerland in Series 2 for Transport Fever 2. <laughs> and uh, we'll we'll be leaving behind uh, the wonderful Midwest in a few weeks, I would say. Something like that. As for the Midlands, expect it to return occasionally as a surprise. If I can get some work done on it without it uh, crashing. It's a real shame because out here it is super, super smooth. But it's the end of the months that uh, do it sometimes. As promised, at the end of this, if you want to play along, it'll be a mammoth. Oh, don't do that. It'll be a mammoth. Guess the station. You'll have 15 seconds to guess the, each station, then I'll pop the name of the station up. Uh, some of you may remember them. 
You're not supposed to go this way. Uh, well, okay, we'll come out the cab ride. It's not, we're not ending on a cab ride anyway. What have I done there? What have you done? Uh, oh, is it because he's actually heading that way? Because I, I swear he was... No, no, what are you doing? Right, we need to change this. <laughs> it, we we couldn't we couldn't end normally, could we? No. It's cuz I got no signals, you plonker. There's one way to fix this, I think, which is add a one-way signal just here. Not that though. That should fix all of our trains or break them all. Break this one. Uh so after the crew portal, you're doing the right thing there. It's the one before the crew portal it should be one. There we go, guys. Fix them all. Make sure? Yes. That will doubly make sure now, wouldn't it? Right, we could add another signal just here. Look at me going crazy on the signaling. One there. We could add another one over here, just before you get to the station. It's all beautiful. Is he... Is he okay? I mean, he's picking up passengers in the middle of nowhere, but that's alright. And do we have a signal there? Yes. We could use one just about there. A short one. Why not? Are we happy? Right. That wasn't that wasn't supposed to happen. Brilliant. <laughs> so anyway, guys, let's sit down here. Is that someone using it or are you just moseying on through? Probably moseying on through. Well, well, I guess the station that doesn't exist. It, it's it's a long port. Yeah, should we end properly now that there's no problems? And then you can play the uh, massive guest the station quiz. It's just a bit of fun, obviously, because the answers do appear for each station. After 15 seconds, it's going to be every single guest the station there has been for over a year of, of the Midlands map. Once again, guys, thank you ever so much for watching, liking, sharing, doing whatever you did. Definitely to the Patreons. Uh, and recently the YouTube members you guys have been awesome I've got a lump in my throat so on that note there won't be a next well yes, yes there will be a next time until next time take care